Kyler Murray has made the correct decision, and he's going to be an NFL quarterback. Yes, he is. Hey, what did you think of that NFL football? <laughs> a really good one probably too and now we get to debate for the next two months whether he will be a first rounder which he will he will be he will but but people are going to have fun debating it let's not look too far ahead we're still going to be able to debate for the next two weeks how tall he is before he gets measured right so there's there's a lot of people saying he's not 5'10 a lot of people saying 5'9 well and actually I'm, I think he's 5'8 and a half I'm kind of rooting for that I think no one's saying he's 5'10 I'm kind of rooting for that man <laughs> Uh, I mean, he he will he will be carrying the flag for us five nine guys. Grow some hair and mm -hmm. then puff it up. The thing you're not talking about with him though, he has tall shoulders. Oh, so when he throws, it's like an extra inch. He does have tall an, shoulders, uh, an absolute cannon of an arm. Mm -hmm. So I think he'll be fine. And but it will be fun to watch everyone try to do some hand wringing. It wasn't enough that we had to do the baseball verse. Uh, football debate. Now we have to do the will he be a first rounder? Again, he will be. He will be. He will be. Um, I mean, but the, the, the concern is like you want a, a GM wants to draft a prototypical size quarterback because then if they ever get fired, they're like, hey, well, you know what? I look, drafted the, the six four guy, right? Because um, they're saying, oh, he's going to get his passes knocked down. But I submit that getting your passes batted at the line of scrimmage is better because some of those balls would have turned into interceptions. True. So Brock Osweiler, Osweiler throws a lot of balls mm -hmm. that don't get tipped. And he trips that's, over himself. That's why he throws so many interceptions. Kyler Murray will not trip over himself. That's a fact. He is lower to the ground. Um, and then the A's, poor A's, they're, they're doing this thing where they, they think they can still make him not a football player. Mm -hmm. It's very sad. Look, baseball's great. Americans pastime, but if you have the choice of being an NFL quarterback or an outfielder, maybe an outfielder for the Oakland A's, mm -hmm. it's not really a choice. That's good. And it's like you're it's the national brand of being a national hero versus being maybe at your absolute peak. Like look at Mike Trout. Okay. Who? Well, yeah, Brock Osweiler has probably more. You probably right. Well, that's a bad example because he's taller. Yeah, he but stands out. Starting quarterbacks in the NFL are the top. They're apex predators in the sports world, especially if there are ducks involved. Right, and you just shoot all of them and kill Shingle them. Shingle your fucking Bro your shed with a bunch of ducks. By the way. Trout was in that picture too. Yeah, he was. I didn't even realize it. I had no idea. I was just like, "Hey, here's Carson Wentz and a bunch of fans and, that went duck yeah. shooting t together." Here's Carson Wentz, and he just sided his entire house with ducks. Mm -hmm. It's going to be weird if Kyler Murray does go to the Cardinals because there's that thing like he signed with Cliff Kingsbury's agent, Stay woke. and no two players and coaches in the history of the NFL have had the same agent mm. before. Like this, is, it's weird. It's something that doesn't happen. Who knows? Uh, but if he goes to Arizona and then the athletics go down there for spring training in phoenix and he sees like billy bean at the <sighs> hot dog stand and it's like hey that hey buddy sucks. tell you what yeah. I'll, I'll pay for this one billy bean will that's be good sucks. hot dogs are undervalued the other rumor that's going around i saw this floated out there that the uh, that the cardinals are going to draft kyler murray and then the patriots are going to trade for josh rosen because it's the, you now hank have to deal with the who's who's who is belichick going to bring in Behind Tom Brady, I pray that it's Will Greer. I need it. it oh, like he's he's primed for that late first round. Oh no, second I, round, uh, third round. Even I don't know. I don't know where he's yeah. going to be drafted. You, he'll probably wherever he's going to be drafted today. He will be drafted higher once the draft comes because well, that's every quarterback just keeps going up and up and up. The thing about NFL quarterbacks that are drafted in the first round, they immediately lose value. They're like a used car once you take them off the lot. So Josh Rosen. Lost a lot of value this year. If you were to just trade a draft pick for him, probably be, what would you give him? Like a I'd give him fifth first, rounder? first round, first pick. You would? Yeah. If you were, if you're Bill Belichick, what are you offering for Rosen? Probably first fifth, rounder. Probably fifth round. No, first round. Actually, probably uh, 199th, the sixth round pick. Yeah. That, that Tom Brady pick. No, I I always I'm a big uh, draft. Where you get drafted is what your value is for the rest of your life. So what, White. I, so what I'm saying is like he loses value in his first year. Yeah. But then once you're a starting quarterback for two years. Are more then you become then you gain value. Well, then actually. everyone talks then you about go up. are they going to pay him? Yeah, and then the big contract mm -hmm. is but, coming up. But then you get a sucker team like the Vikings to step in and pay somebody right. that's not very good because they've gotten better. It's it's a very weird market.